So the Carolina Hurricanes have done it again. They've improved their lineup. What's going on out there? They just signed Ryan Zingle to a two-year, two-year, 3.375 AAV. What a great deal. The guy's 27 years old. He's in his prime. Um, he tallied 26 goals and 56 points last season split, uh, in 78 games between Ottawa and Columbus and the Columbus Blue Jackets. Um, now, he, w he was thriving on a top-line role with the Senators uh, when he had 22 goals in 57 games, and then his production just cratered with Columbus um, as he only scored four times in uh, 21 games, and his ice time dipped by over three minutes per game. Tortorella was just not a fan of this kid. Kid, 27. Man. Um, now... <laughs> this is interesting because his his cap compares quite favorably um, to other UFA wingers who have signed recently, and I'm talking about uh, former Carolina Hurricane Michael Furland at three point five million dollars on a four year term, mind you, with uh, Vancouver Canucks. Marcus Johansson on a uh, four point five million dollar deal, formerly of the Boston Bruins, Brent Connolly signing with Florida at $3.5 million, Brandon Tenev, oh boy, signing with Pittsburgh at $3.5 million, I want to say the term on that is, what, like five years? Yee, Don Donskoy signed with the Avalanche at $3.9 million, and Wayne Simmons, of course, signed with the Devils at $5 million. That I can kind of see, he's a veteran, although he had a Bad year last year. Devils have got lots of cap space. Blah, 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 blah. Now, Zingle had more goals and points than any of the players that I just mentioned. Um, and the Carolina Hurricanes still have around $10.4 million in projected cap space, cap space with 18 players signed, uh, according to Cap Friendly, which gives them lots of room if they want to sign Justin Williams. Um... Uh, at 37 years old, he had what, the most productive year of his entire career at 37 years old last season. J this team is deep. And, and you know, I'm looking at their lineup, and they, they've got a ton of centers here. So something's got to move. Some guys maybe got to go back down to the Charlotte Sheckers. Um, I'm thinking of Martin Neckas, uh, probably uh, maybe, you know, Clark Bishop as well. Um, Bishop's uh, an RFA, by the way. Uh, now, Halla, who who um, who they got uh, from Vegas, uh, I see him starting the season as a third line center, and then possibly swapping spots with uh, Stahl, Jordan Stahl, and moving up to the second line center. Stahl moving to third. Of course, Aho has the first. Um, so where does that leave Zingle? Because you would think um, Walmart would would center the fourth line there. Um, you could see Zingle playing wing because that's also what he does. Now he plays uh, both wings as well as center. Um, he is six foot, hundred ninety pounds from um, Wheaton, Illinois. Uh, he shoots left. As I mentioned, he's twenty seven years of age. We talked about his scoring already uh, last season. Really, yeah. In total, he had twenty six goals and uh, fifty six points. Um, he was a minus 13 in Ottawa, but a plus 4 for the Columbus Blue Jackets. So take that with a grain of salt, I guess. And in 2017-18, uh, the year before, in 79, um, b -b -b 79 games, he had a career high at that point, which was 23 goals, uh, 18 assists for 41 points. He was a minus 17. Again, Ottawa. So I guess you got to look at the plus minus carefully there. Uh, he was a... A positive the year before in Ottawa in 2016-17, he was a plus seven, um, and he had 14 goals. So he was already on his way up. Um, you know, he was a plus four in Columbus, although he didn't score much. The playoffs last season in nine games, he only had one goal though, um, but he was a plus three. So again, he wasn't a minus player. I I can totally see Carolina throwing this guy on the wing. Uh, maybe even on the top line. I, I see him being a top six winger there for them. And they look like a really deep team next year, offensively speaking, even on defense. Uh, I mean, they lost Furland, 
Um, they lost that rambunctious kind of uh, forechecking, uh, frenzy type of player who were, you know, puck tr retriever. Um, and they, I, they haven't really, re you know, replaced him as of yet. But, um, you know, maybe they bump up some uh, some other guys with a little bit of uh, gusto, you know, in their game and throw them on the wing. That's possible. Like, I'm talking about maybe Warren Fogali, perhaps. Um, and also maybe Halla, Eric Halla. Maybe they have him on the wing, you know. Um, and maybe they play uh, Zingle at, at center. They're, they've got a lot of options because a lot of their centers also play wing, starting with Aho, Stahl, uh, Zingle, Halla, uh, Jordan Martinuk. Don't forget about him as well. So, th th yeah, they, they just got a absolute boatload of options that they could use there. Now, you, you look at Michael Furland and you look at uh, Zingle's contract. Zingle's only a two-year contract in his prime at 3.375. So not only is that contract less, but it's half the term. And you, you, you look at um, that and, and it makes you wonder, like, why would they not sign Furland if they, you know, could have spent, you know, maybe an extra couple hundred thousand dollars to sign him, but he probably wanted more term and they didn't want that. Maybe it was because of his concussion history. It's a very, very, very possible. I mean, Furland is, uh, how old is he? Um, ba -ba -ba. he's also 27 years old so maybe that's what scared them away from that although you know it is unique to have as a power forward and Canucks probably got him because they were willing to go the extra term on that guy of course Furlan last year had uh, 17 goals a year before that he had 21 so they're getting more goals with Zingle here they're just not getting that puck retrieval grittiness um, that Furling can bring, especially in the playoffs. We'll see how much they miss that. Um, but in any case, yeah, this is 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 a great. This is great for Carolina. Um, hopefully, he clicks with them. You know, uh, after playing well with Ottawa uh, throughout his career, ending up on Columbus, maybe that was a bit of a shock to him and the trade being his first time being moved. Um, that could be a reason. Uh, but yeah. Uh, here you have it. I, I would love to hear uh, what you have to say about this, especially you Carolina fans out there. Where do you think he's going to play in the lineup? How do you see the lineup um, being forged altogether, especially through the center uh, slot there? Please um, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And yeah, I know I haven't been making many videos lately. I've had work. I'm in the middle of moving. My apologies, but I will see you soon.